to many people aiming to be more like an animal might sound like a bizarre idea because as humans we can be an obnoxiously proud species at times we often think that we are the supreme beings who are chosen to assert our dominion over nature instead of perceiving nature as the superior field which has clearly asserted its impression on every fiber of our being this is why throughout ancient traditions people have always prioritized the act of looking both inwards and outwards to facilitate their personal journey of self-actualization every being in the animal kingdom expresses some qualities that can be characterized as a shadow trait while simultaneously expressing other qualities that are the purest epitome of a virtue or a spiritual ideal that we as humans are really far from embodying just like the archetype worshipping culture of hinduism mahayana buddhism and tantra where we look up to a god or a goddess with the aim of training our subconscious mind to gradually align with the very virtuous ideal that these deities personify working with animal totem helps train our mind to align with our own dormant genetic potential by taking inspiration from the spiritual beingness of an animal the symbology of a butterfly can inspire us to persevere during the painful moments of our own spiritual transformative process while a hummingbird can inspire us to reach straight for the nectar or the quintessence behind all of our life experiences instead of ruminating on the unnecessary details that are better off being discarded dolphins can symbolize the deepest of friendship playfulness joy group synergy and a childlike zest for life which is an experience that most of us could really benefit from as a collective while an owl can inspire us to maintain clarity of vision during times of darkness confusion or obscurity ants and bees can teach humans how to develop a collaborative spirit while an eagle can be perceived as the absolute personification of boundlessness just like the iconic analogy of the four harmonious friends where the elephant the monkey the rabbit and the bird act as a mutual support system to enjoy the fruits of nature the spiritual fruits of higher consciousness can only be attained once our body mind heart and spirit functions as a singular unit or in a state of dao so why do we look down upon animals when in reality they are the ones who are the living breathing personification of some of the highest spiritual ideals that most of us are actually very weak or completely bereft at